Hello? Is he there? Are we good to go? Okay. Our next guest is a rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, fashion designer, black man, and historian. Please welcome Kanye West. Happy to be here. Before we get into everything, you have been with and married some of the hottest pieces of ass on the planet. What tips could you give me to get Kanye West level women? Shit, Adam. You hitting me with a real ass question straight away. Let me tell you this. Every day, Adam, pray, pray, pray. Ask God for a piece of pussy and he will provide. I started praying for a hot lady with them big titties since I was a little boy. And how many ladies with the big titties have I had? Honestly, I stopped counting. Prayer? It really is that simple? That's what I do. That and be a famous black rapper. Well, time for me to put on my black face. Anyways, Kanye, you said on a recent Instagram post that, quote, watching Jonah Hill and 21 Jump Street made me like Jewish people again. What did you mean by that? I've been off the rails for some time now. We all know it. And we can get into it. But 21 Jump Street, that night I was self-pissed. I was angry. And I just needed a movie to take my mind off everything. My brain was nonstop. Jews, Jew this, Jew that. Jewish, Jews, Jews, Jews. And I was looking through my DVD collection and I saw 21 Jump Street. It was like shining like it had the Holy Spirit in it. Like God wanted me to watch this film. So I sat down, smoked a blunt, and as I was getting my dick sucked, I watched Jonah Hill, this Jewish actor, giving the most real and raw performance. I forgot it was a comedy, to be honest. His performance was perfect. It, it was like my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy, so close to perfection, and I don't know why I did this, but I rewatched the film a second time, but backwards, and the word of God flowed out of Jonah's mouth. Jesus and Jonah, one and the same, spoke to me, and then I came, got up, and just started writing. No Christian can be labeled anti-Semite knowing Jesus is Jew. Thank you, Jonah Hill, I love you. And that was it. Wow, that's incredible. A real come to Jesus moment of sorts. I also didn't realize there was an option to watch DVDs backwards. I have one of these custom made players, Steve Jobs, or Steven as I used to call him. He made me one to assist me in the creative writing process. It was my idea to be honest. Like if there are hidden messages in albums that can only be heard when played backwards, why can't the same be true for movies? Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Have you ever watched Schindler's List backwards? Ha, huh. no I haven't, but I'll add it to the list. Well, anyway, I am glad you have seen the light. As you know, I am a Jewish man, and when you tweeted, quote, I'm going Death Con 3 on Jewish people, I was afraid for my life. I thought, oh no, Kanye West is going to come after me. He's going to come for me. Adam Friedland, the Jew, and do some gangster rap on my ass. My Jewish brother, Adam, I just want to put it out into the universe. I love you. No, for real, Kanye loves Adam like Kanye loves Kanye. And I should have never tweeted that. It was offensive. And it was mean. And hearing you say that, that I made you Adam Friedland, one of my favorite comedians, that I scared you, that hurts Kanye, that is something I am going to have to live with for the rest of my life. And I apologize. I am sorry. Kanye is really sorry. And I am sorry to all the Jewish people I hurt and offended. Listen, my bad. But most of all, I am sorry I scared you, Adam. Thank you, Kanye. Apology accepted. Listen, this is so important for people to hear. It's like the old saying, an apology is worth a thousand words. And you said it beautifully. Now, Kanye, I think it would be good for the audience to hear. Apart from the drug use, what do you think made you say all those horrible things? The drugs were a huge factor, but also... I'd been listening to a lot of your old podcast, actually. Come Town, still a huge fan. But let's be real, you guys said some crazy shit, too. I think that was more Nick. Yeah, he was really you. funny. And I don't know, I, I took some of the jokes. Um, I little too literally, I started having some bad thoughts. I was in a kind of fugue state. But now, being 100% real, the Adam Friedland show... It also changed my life. I know I said it was Jonah Hill and 21 Jump Street. I had to publicly say that. Jonah is a big-time actor that people know. And when you say, Jonah Hill made me love Jews again, people will listen. But being 100% real. It was also you, Adam, the Adam Friedland show. Your interview with the trumpet troll, that little melted gremlin, it was incredible. A dialogue between two. Jewish titans, intellectuals at the top of their game. I really was in awe. Honestly, I look up to you, Adam. You inspire me. When you showed that goblin empathy, you showed him love, and 
You gave him a chance to speak on your show. I got chills. I got chills even right now. That is the kind of love that brought me back to the path of love. So thank you, Adam, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Kanye, that is so kind of you to say as a center-left gay Jewish voice. That means a lot. Now, I wanted to ask you, after everything that has been said and done, after all the controversy, where do you go from here? What does the new Kanye look like? I think there is a path to redemption. I know I have done wrong, and there is a price to pay. And I have thought a lot about this. Firstly, I am going to get circumcised. Oh, I know a guy who can help you out with that. Thank you. That will give me a better understanding of the Jewish experience, a piece of flesh for the chosen people. Next, I'm going to become a rabbi. That will bring me closer to God in the words of God, the Jewish God. Maybe get one of those hats, uh, a big Santa Claus beard, and some of those curly hairs. I think that would be dope. Maybe do a remix of my song, New Slaves, and call it New Rabbis. And finally, I'm going to exclusively date Jewish women with the big titties. So Adam, if you know any, hook a brother up. I love this plan. And I want to be a part of this journey with you. By the way, have you met Ben Shapiro's sister? She has some badonka donks, if you know what I'm saying. Ben's sister? Oh yes, amen my brother. That's my kind of Jewish mamacita. I would do terrible, terrible things to just go num 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 on those nip nips. You know, Ben was really upset with me, so maybe it's time for us to join families. Put a bun in that oven, turn his sister into a baby mama. He would probably be jealous. No doubt. They always are of the Kanye. Listen, Kanye, I know we are short for time. You are a really busy man. But do you have any final words for the Kanye West fans out there who are hoping to see you redeem yourself? Forgiveness, my brother. Open your hearts and give me another chance. How much good music have I given the world? How many times have you listened to Homecoming and thought, damn, these beats are dope, or got pumped up with the boys to Black Skinhead? Or what about the Yeezys? I know you haven't forgot about those. Or the leather jogging pants. What about the laughs? I know I made everyone laugh. I've done it all. I've brought the whole life experience to the world through laughter, joy, anger, tears. And now it's time for my redemption arc. Look, Adam, I have to run. But before I go, I want to announce my next album, My Dark Twisted Jewish Fantasy, which will be coming out sometime in the summer. Depending when I finish rabbi school. Oh my God, thank you for the exclusive Kanye... It's been incredible to talk to you. You are one of a kind, and I would love to have you back on the Adam Friedland Show next time in person. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. One love, my Jewish brother. Oh, my, that was Kanye West. So crazy, right? (laughs) 